Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We have Mr. Obama on the Dick of Doom on top of the big anchor in front of Whale Harbor. That's right, the Mr. Obamas are hanging out on top of the big anchor at Whale Harbor Marina in Isla Mirada, located at approximately mile marker 83 on US 1. And now I'm going to show you this big anchor. It's one of the biggest anchors in the Florida Keys. There are bigger anchors, but they're not easily accessible. This anchor is by the Whale Harbor Marina and Restaurant, which serves some really, really good food, fresh seafood, because right behind the Whale Harbor Marina and Restaurant is the fishing fleet of Isla Mirada. That's right, and look at the size of this anchor. This is one big anchor that Mr. Obama's are hanging on. He's like a Reminded me of Mr. Obama because uh, Mr. Obama is like a big anchor on the American people. That's right. And now I'm going to show you the fishing fleet that is behind this anchor. This is a, one of the snorkeling boats. And this is the Wahoo Bar and Grill. The world famous Wahoo Bar and Grill as a matter of fact. Which is attached to Whale Harbor Marina which is at the other end of the parking lot. Well Harbor Restaurant, which has an all-you-can-eat seafood buffet. And I might add, if you go to the all-you-can-eat seafood buffet, be prepared to put another notch in your belt because the food there is superb. The pricing is unbelievable for the amount of food that you could consume if you were a big food consumer. And... Ladies and gentlemen, it is good food, and dessert, and shrimp, and lobster, and fish, and conch fritters, and, 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 Now let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, in case you didn't notice, Michael Fazio does not need any more seafood buffets. The last time I went there, I was so full. I could not move, and that is not a joke, ladies and gentlemen. I was so full, I could not move. I had to go out to the car and stand there and look at the atmosphere because I eat too much food, and I deserve what I get. So what we have here is a beautiful Isla Mirada. What we're looking at here is what used to be Holiday Isle. And that's a six-story hotel that you're looking at right now that you can eat on the top floor, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it used to be. And now it's called the Post Guard Inn. Post Guard Inn. And this is the big anchor from a different angle. And we're going to go get the Dick of Doom. And I'm going to take you for a walk around the Whale Harbor restaurant and the fishing fleet. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Michael Fazio. I don't know if you can see, but the Mr. Obamas are coming with the me. That's right. That's right. We're going to go take a look down on the docks. You can charter boats here. Any from thing from a 30-foot boat to 50-something foot vessels. This is some of the big boats. Basically, this video is for Honest John to give him back some memories. Honest John 6-0 on a YouTube channel. We have the Whale Harbor snorkeling boats. Now, this is a big fishing boat, and I don't know much about fishing. I can tell you that, that that's an honest, that's an honest observation. I don't know much about fishing, but I do know a little bit about boats. And I would say that this is a big boat. And this boat is called the Fiesta. And this boat has what is called a fighting chair in the back of the boat. And it is uh, fine woodwork to the entrance to the boat. And it also has a flying bridge that can operate the vessel. This is actually a vessel or a yacht. This flying bridge you can climb up onto the tower and operate the vessel from there. And this flying bridge is pretty big compared to most of the others on boats that you might see going in and out of a canal. 
this particular fishing fleet is a very, 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 very well kept and well enterprised fishing fleet. I don't know really how to put this stuff into words because I'm not a fisherman, but these boats are the top of the top and you can locate these boats and rent these boats at the Whale Harbor Marina. And this is a boat which is pretty famous. This is Captain Skip Bredeen. And this man gets on the radio and talks about fishing twice a day. Usually whatever he's talking about is not exactly what's happening. He has a tendency to exaggerate. And this is called the Blue Chip 2. And this boat is a pretty big boat, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. And I like it because it's blue. And this also has one of those big towers on it. And this is, again, this is the blue, the blue chip 2. The blue chip 2 fishing vessels operated by, again, Captain Skip Bradine. And Honest John wanted me to tell him what was happening with Captain Skip Bradine, and I didn't know. So I actually stopped down here just so I could look at this boat. And it looks like it's doing really well. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard the Blue Chip 2. And now this, this George. George, how you doing? How you doing, George? Are you George or are you, are you, are you George or are you George's brother, George? Which are you? Tell me what you are. You're George. I can, oh, that's George. Which way did he go, George? Now, George doesn't really care because he's domesticated. Now, he's a real Florida Keys pelican. When they stand up, they probably weigh about 18 pounds or so. They get pretty big. They have a wingspan of about 5 feet. That beak penetrates into the water. They dive like a dive bomber. And then they fill up their mouth, which opens up like a balloon. And they fish like that. But this George is a he's a he's a barrio George because he's sitting here waiting for a handout. That's right. This is a bum George. We'll call this George bum George. Now we're gonna get a close up of George's face because George George he's a superstar. He knows that if he sticks around long enough, he'll give him a fish. And that's George's face. Watch his eyes blink. That's a beautiful bird. They're all beautiful birds. That's a beautiful George. I'm going to get your side view. Look at that. Look how pretty George is. Look at George. And we have a small vessel leaving the canal. Even though it's February 17th, we have a bunch of boaters out here today. And this is the rest of the fishing fleet. And they have jet ski rentals at Whale Harbor. Jet ski rentals and boat rentals, I'm sure. Yes, boat rentals. And there we go. This is the fishing fleet at Whale Harbor. And we are below the Wahoo Bar and Grill. And this is a big shark of some sort. It might be a great white shark and it might not be a great white shark. But either way, this is a big shark. And we're going to back off this shark, and then we're going to get a picture of this shark. It's a shark, and this is how they would hang a shark if it was a shark to be hung. We're going to get the sun side of the shark, and this is pretty much what a shark looks like. Although you don't normally see them coming unless they're in a movie, this is pretty much what it looks like. And to give you an idea how big that is, it's pretty big. I'm going to back off over here. I would say that shark's about 11 feet tall. And right up here is the Wahoo Bar and Grill. And then we have the uh, outside bar, which is located in this uh, parameter all along this this catwalk up on top from one end to the other and at the other end is the Whale Harbor restaurant and here's another blue chip too look at that there's two blue chip twos Hi. 
Let's see what this other blue chip two is about. This is Captain Skip's Ferrari blue chip two. So, Honest John, apparently there's two of them. Maybe that's why they call it the blue chip two. And it looks like they caught some fish. Hi. Do you, do you know? You remember Honest John from Holiday Isle? Yes, I do. do you, okay, I'm I'm making this video for Honest John. Honest John knows Skip Brady. I'm Skip Brady. I know you're Skip Brady. I've known him for 40, someone 40 some odd years from Holiday. Hi, Honest John. I'm still here, pal. Alive and well. John and I communicate through YouTube. I told him I'd come down and look for you. Skip's still here. All right. I'm the last of the Mohegans, by the way. All the rest of them are gone. Thank you very much for your time, Skip. Hi, Johnny. I just explained to the people that you do the radio show twice a day. Twice a day. 86.9 FM. I've been doing 24 years now. 24 years. This is my 49th year here in the Well Harbor Marina. 49 years. And you have two boats now, it looks like. Boats. You like to buy one, John? I got one for sale. Come on down. I'll make you do you can't refuse. <laughs> True story. I'm not kidding. Don't laugh about it. It's a serious fact. <laughs> well, thank you very much, you Captain it, Skip. Thank you. I also thank explained you. to the people that when Skip Redeen gets on the radio in the morning and the afternoon, most of what he says is true. Not all, though. Not all. <laughs> Without all stuff. Fish stories. Yeah, fish stories. Fish tales. God bless you, Skip. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm looking for my uncle, too. Do you know my Uncle Jay Harry's from New York? Okay. Next time you go, you bring me three shrimp. Ten four. All right. All right, what do you know? over there, guys? So this is, that was the famous Skip Radeen, because I'm going to put him in the video. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the second blue chip, too. And then we have the Southern Comfort, which is a beautiful boat, another beautiful boat. We have some beautiful boats here, ladies and gentlemen. And next to the Southern Comfort, I don't see the name on this one, but it looks like the Whale Harbor Miller Time. I wonder if that's Captain Miller from Howard Beach, Queens. I wonder. Could very well be Captain Miller. And that's the Miller Time. Could be another Miller. Huh? It's the Miller Time boat. Whale Harbor Marina. And then we have another boat called the K... Looks like the K-4. 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 This is the K-4. Wow, we got to see Captain Sprit Skip Dean. He's a famous man in the Florida Keys, ladies and gentlemen. He's a famous man. He knows just about every person that's ever lived in the Florida Keys at one time or another has listened to Captain Skip Dean's radio show. And this is the other end of the marina, which is another part of the marina, which is behind the Well Harbor Restaurant in Isla Mirada. And we're going to take a walk down here, and we're going to show you what it's like living in the Keys. There's another, another view. That's a view of the entrance to Well Harbor Marina. And this is the view of the bar, the outside bar up on the top, the mezzanine, I guess you would call that. And we have... Uh, this is the rack that you're going to see above me is where they hang the fish from. And those are little, probably they were galvanized nails at one time, welded onto a piece of two inch galvanized pipe. Hi. And this is the hang em high. Talking about hanging fish, this is the hang em high. When you hang them, hang them high. That's right. And this is the Pirate for Hire. This is a smaller vessel. Nonetheless, you can have fun on these little boats too. Sometimes the little boats are more fun than the big boats. Hey, Honest John, I know you're going to watch this whole video. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. You guys know Honest John from Holiday Isle? 
Oh. No? Okay, this video is for him. Good showing those flags. What's that? Shows those flags hanging right there. Show which the name of that boat right there? Which one? <laughs> all of them. Uh, I'm getting all of them. Which one specifically? The, the three flags hanging down the rigger. The three flags hanging down the rigger. Okay, we're going to show him the Matador. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be coming up on the Matador in a minute. On Astron, we just talked to Skip Bradeen who's been friends with Honest John for about 25 years. It was like a, I don't know if it's because I was hung over, but it really was good. I never ate it And we're coming up on the Matador. The gentleman thought that it should have a special mention. So let's talk about the Matador, which is a big fishing boat. This is a big vessel. And the Matador has a really, really nice fighting chair. Hi. Hi. Hello. You guys know Honest John from Holiday Isle? No. No. Nope. Honest John, we didn't get too many people that know you today. This is the Matador, which is also parked at the Whale Harbor Marina. It's got a nice fighting chair there. And then there's a hang gliding boat over there for the strong at heart. And now we're going to walk out to the pier here. And we're getting down to the smaller vessels because this is a really tight spot. 